Well, it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I have project shares today. Be right back. I thought I'd share with you the items that I've been working on. Some of these I kind of started previously, like this one I started about a month ago. <laughs> I think I started it before Christmas, but I didn't finish it till this past week. I already gave my um, younger sister hers because I made enough for each of my siblings. So there's that one. This one was a design space project. Now I'm not sure if it's free for everyone or if I own the images. I couldn't, I didn't look in enough to see if which, which, which case it was. I probably should have did that, but it, you can find it in design space. And I'm sure if you're an access member, it's probably definitely free, but I added a um, sentiment to it. I did a total of four. I'm probably going to have to add cushioning and pay extra postage for this because I use little brads in there and that would make it un unmailable at the letter rate. Um, this one I just have as a sample. I made hubby another um, APA baseball card envelope. I have that because my, my printer was being all weird. My big my big one, my craft one that I can print on cardstock. When I tried to print from my computer, it would tell me it's not online. I'd go over to the computer, I mean over to the printer, and the printer would say it is online. <laughs> so finally I just said I'll print it on the other printer and then I'll come copy it over here because I'm going to have to try to figure out what's causing that issue. And this sympathy card was from the Bearded Housewife. Um, he has a lot of free SVGs that he shares. Um, different ones. I have downloaded a few and then there's like a pop-out lily inside of it. This part was print and cut. So I did two of those. I was trying to get a few um, sympathy cards into my stash. Um, this one is another Cricut Design Space project. And again, this one was free for me, but it could be that I own this image because I know I have I had bought cartridges that had a lot of cards on them, so this could that could have been why this one was free, but again, it's probably one that if you have access would probably be free, but just a St. Patrick's Day card. I did a few of, I did four of that one. This one is the heart paper sculpture. This, it is a Dreaming Tree project. I'm probably going to put this away with my Valentine's. Um, D decorations. So this one, I'm not sure what I did with the little graph um, dreaming tree. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it's right here. Yeah, yeah this one's the bow bag. I'm pretty sure this one was a freebie. I didn't write that down, but I'm going to use these. I've got five more cut out that I haven't put together yet so you'll probably see this one again next week but I got one put together I kind of did make it a little bigger I made it as wide as I could using and I had to use 12 by 24 paper because the one this piece here 
was longer than 12 inches once I put it up to, I put it out to like 11.3, I think. But I just, I selected everything and I made it four inches bigger because I knew that would fit within the width of my paper. And then I went in and I made the bow a little bit smaller so that it would fit the width of the paper. So the bow is a little bit smaller than what they show in comparison to the other, but I still, still think it works. So I just thought I'd like it to be as big as I possibly could so that um, it would fit more little things in it for the neighbor kids. Um, this is another Dreaming Tree one. Pretty sure this is a Frady one as well. And I can't find my little PDF graph of it, but I think it was called a layered greeting card. Now I haven't added a sentiment or it's possible I might add something else to the front, but I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet. So sometimes with those, I'll just file them in my completed cards. And then when I pull, I'll put it under my one that can, I have one that's labeled multi-use. So it depends on how I finish it, what it can be used for. So then I can just add whatever and finish it up and send it out for whatever occasion I decide. I have participated in a card challenge. It was from Betty Mates. I think she might have changed it to craft. I think she, it was, I don't know, just do this. It was Betty Makes. And then I think she changed it to this Crafters Club. But if, I think if you search Betty Makes, you could still probably find her. Um, these ones I'm not sure if she left on her website or if they were only sent if you signed up for the challenge. This one I think she called a six panel card. Folds all up and I kind of decorated the inside, but I haven't done anything on the back side. So, and I haven't added it. I left this blank for a sentiment, and honestly, it kind of made some mistakes. So I don't know that I've actually sent this one out. But it was kind of fun just to play with the flip design. This one I haven't finished. This was another one from that challenge. It's a heart pop up. I was debating whether to make it Valentine's for next year or make it into like an anniversary type card. So, and this one I haven't decorated yet either. I for this one. I know I have decorations for most of them. No, it's, I've got the other, that's not, I only have the one direction for one. I think she was like a flip flip card or something like that because the little flaps come up. I haven't decorated it at all yet. I haven't decided how to do that. And this one I know she called a tower card. Let's try to figure out how I had it designed to lay flat. But I think the page that I had as the beginning and what because I used my little women paper to um, decorate it I kind of figured this was the front but Meg Jo Beth Amy and then it starts over laying the way I think it was supposed to lay it now I can't figure out how that was. Oh I think it was supposed to go that way. But but it will I think it'll fit in a standard A2 envelope. I'm not positive on that, but it you know folds like that. I think I'm just gonna use it as decoration. If you're familiar with my if you watch my channel a lot you know that I'm a big little women fan. So that's kind of where I'm at. I had filmed this once and realized I forgot two or three pot drugs. So I went and got them and thought, I'll just start over rather than keep doing, oh, and this and this. But anyways, that's all I've got to share today. Um, it was a busy week for me. I had a couple of dentist appointments. And luckily, some of these I had cut out beforehand so that my time out, I still got quite a bit done. I just 
I still have a few more cut out that I haven't gotten assembled, but I'll keep working on those. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.